welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you're here because I picked up some new Easter and spring Dollar Tree items that I could not wait to show you. I know that I usually upload a DIY today. However, I'm trying to get back out to my she shed. So in lieu of that, I figured that I would just show you guys the items that I recently picked up. So I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's jump into today's Dollar Tree haul. Okay, so as always, I'm gonna do my best not to edit this and I am I don't have categories. I'm just gonna grab at random because I have my little buddy right here with me and I have my other one having a snack. So I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> Let's just go for it. So upon walking in this Dollar Tree, I don't normally go to this particular Dollar Tree, um, but on Valentine's Day, my husband and I went out to eat in a different town. So I figured that I would stop at the Dollar Tree there. When I walked in the door, I saw these and I was like, holy moly, those jars are absolutely stunning. So they just have like this weird little design. I don't really know what you want to call that. I don't know if you can see that. And I know a little, I look a little different. I don't have my glasses on because this light glares and it's a whole thing. But anyway, um, so I don't know if you can see that design. But I thought that that would look absolutely gorgeous painted with some dry brushing. So I picked up this like coral color and you're going to see why in a minute. And then I also picked up a clear jar. I only picked up one of each. The next items that I picked up are these little egg, foam eggs that you put on the trees that Dollar Tree recently came out with. So I didn't pick up any of the new ones because the Easter ones I believe are white. Um, I thought the pink for Valentine's would be really cute for the Easter eggs. So I picked up two packs of these so that my girls can decorate the little tree. The next item that I picked up was this cute little stylus pen. Look how cute that is. I've been needing one of these just because um, like sometimes my fingers, I don't know. Anyway, the point is I've been needing one of these little styluses and it actually is a pen. Here, I'll open it up so y'all can see. This is not only a stylus at the end, Y'all know I love pink. I love anything pink. Look how gorgeous that is. I already know my Sophie girl is going to be trying to steal this from me, but I'll just pick up another one. She can have it. So it is actually a pen. Oh, and it writes really nicely. So I picked up one of those. Oh my goodness, y'all. I need to go put my rings on. Hold on. Okay, that's much, much better. Okay, so the next item I picked up is these two packs of crayons. This one is like pearl colors. And then this one is bold and bright. And you're going to see why. I don't know if I'll do it in this video or a different video. But I picked up two, just one of each of those. Um, and then I also absolutely loved this. This was right by the little jars. Now they have those like displays like up by checkout and it's like round and they have like a bunch of stuff all over. That's where this was. So it's got this cute little butterfly. Let me take it out of the plastic so you can see a little bit better. So it says, accept what is, let go of what was, have faith in what will be. And I have a hard time like remembering this sometimes. So I really want to put this like right here at my computer desk where I have my display of crystals and like it's just a good vibe space for me to work in. So I thought that that was absolutely perfect to put in my little shrine. <laughs> Uh, I'm all about like energy and like I'm just all about positive and good vibes and good energy so 
I loved that. Now these are old items, but I did just want to kind of show you guys like what the packs look like. I just recently did a few DIYs with these cute little gnomes. Now I know that gnomes are not like everybody's cup of tea. To be quite honest, I am not the biggest fan of gnomes, you guys, but I thought these little bunny gnomes were super farmhouse and like so stinking cute. So I did pick up two more packs of those. And then I also picked up two more packs of these little wooden bunnies. Like I cannot get enough of these. These are so farmhousey. And Dollar Tree's really stepping it up. 12 pieces in one pack, y'all. Like, okay, that quarter increase doesn't bother me at all because you get a lot more bang for your buck in a quarter. <laughs> you get a lot more bang for a buck in a quarter and like the items are just top notch. So two more, pa I picked up two more packs of those. Okay, now I'm really excited about this. I found so I actually found this hanging basket at a different store. So I, I could only literally find this hanging basket at this one particular store. So obviously I only picked up that one. And I also found these, but I only found three of them. So I'm gonna try to do something with two of them and then like show you guys. Maybe I'll do it in this video. I don't know because I'm recording this on Monday when this is supposed to go up. So we'll see about that. But um, I picked up three of these. And then to go along with that theme, sorry y'all, bear with me. I hate that bag sound like that crunch, but whatever. To go along with those, I did find the shelves. So I picked uh, four of the shelves because there was plenty of these. And I saw a Bargain Bethany's video. Oh my goodness, excuse me. I saw Bargain Bethany's video. Them, excuse me, them ketones make me burp, y'all. If you did not know, ketones helped me lose 80 pounds altogether, gave me my confidence back, gives me the best energy focus mood of my life. So if y'all want any information on how you can feel that way, lose weight, and make money from it, uh, text my number. I'll try to leave it on the screen. If not, it will be in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. But I saw on Bargain Bethany's where she said to like bend these up a little bit so whatever you put on here doesn't fall forward. And so I will be doing that when I put this together. And then to go with that, I picked up one of these little pen holders. What happened, pumpkin? You got it? We could do makeup in just a few minutes, okay? We could do makeup in just a couple minutes. Right, that's a cup. So I picked up one of these for like stationary and one of these for more stationary. So stay tuned for that. Again, I don't know if I'll have time to do it in this video. I will do my best. However, who knows, right? So anyway, yeah, you could take that out to the table. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Don't open it. Just look at the box, okay? All right. Mom life, y'all, y'all know how it is. My Izzy is getting so big. Y'all remember when I was pregnant with her. But anyway, um, one of each of those, I don't know if I said that, but that's what I did. So that whole system is for one particular thing that I picked up, I mean, that I have in mind, I should say. So anyway. Okay, y'all, so I have been wanting to do this for a really long time. Ever since I seen a few videos using this system, I knew exactly what I wanted to use it for. Now, I tried to use these removable command strips. Please do not do it. <laughs> it doesn't work. They just fell down. I ended up um, using little, not screws, I was about to say screws, little nails right in the corners of these and... Um, it, it's it really doesn't matter i really didn't want to mess up the wall but in the end i wanted it to be sturdy enough that her stuff could fit because my two-year-old 
<laughs> she loves to get into Sissy's art supplies and write all over the house, and we can't be having that. So I wanted to create a system for my seven-year-old. Almost, oh my God, you guys, I cannot believe she's almost seven. My almost seven-year-old to have all of her art supplies. She's really crafty like her mama. I wanted her to have them up and out of the way. Hey y'all, editing me here. I forgot to tell you in my video, if you cannot find this wire system, do not worry. Stay tuned to my next Timu video. It's coming up in March and I'm gonna show you guys how you can get this look anywhere. You can order it online. So you don't have to search a store. Um, it's not like exact, but you guys are gonna love it, trust me. So I just wanted to mention, I know that a lot of you guys have trouble getting these items. And I mean, I don't, there's really not much I can do. My stores aren't always the best. I can tell you to travel. I have to travel to my best Dollar Tree. Um, and I do go to several different ones. The items that I pick up are not always from the same store. So keep that in mind. Um, but I'm always looking for ways to like try to help you guys get stuff. So stay tuned for my next Timu video. It's going to be really fun organizational video. And you guys are going to love it. So I love y'all. Let's jump back in. All right, the next items that I picked up along the lines of Easter, look how gorgeous these are. <gasps> I was so excited to find these little trees. Like, aren't they so stinking cute? And the colors are absolutely stunning. I mean, yeah, that annoying glitter, but what are you gonna do? I mean, if you shop at, jo if you shop at Dollar Tree, then you're just used to it by now, right? But look how stinking cute. I love them so much. Only picked up one of each, even though there was like plenty there. So there's those. And then the next items that I picked up, I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen them before at my store. If you've seen them at yours, let me know. But they are these little gold rub-on transfers. So these are gonna be perfect for spring decor. Look at the little heart. Isn't it cute? So I picked up three of those just to keep in my stash. Again, there's plenty. I'm the type of person, I will only grab multiples. Whoops! I will only grab multiples if there's plenty there. But let's just say like these are the last three. I will only take one and leave some for other people. So that's just the type of shopper I am. So I picked up three of those, like I said. And then because we're in spring, they're putting out their seeds and stuff, which y'all, this is a great price. $1.25 for seeds like this in a big pack. And these are actually easy to plant, just supply water. So I can, I can feel that these are, um, I don't really know how, but Sow seeds, outdoors, partial shade. I don't know, but these have something in there. These are um, different than just regular seeds. So anyway, I picked up two packs of Impatience. Impatience are actually some of my favorite flowers. And then I also picked up microgreens. Um, microgreens are like really, really, really good for you and they literally grow so quick and easily. Um, these are 40 times the nutrient density of regular greens and vegetables that you get 
like in the grocery store and not only that but those are like filled with pesticides and that's a whole other rant for another day but anyway long story short i picked up these because i really want to start getting into eating and growing microgreens because they're really really good for you okay the next item i picked up this one doesn't even need a diy you guys look how stinking beautiful that is I mean, they just did that so right. Look at the little ear with the galvanized piece, the faux wood on the bunny with the beautiful little jute bow, or not jute, burlap bow with the happy Easter. I mean, they just like really did that right. I don't even have to do anything to this. I mean, I still might just because I love to DIY, but look how stinking beautiful that is. Let me know, would y'all DIY this or do you love it just as is? And then along the same lines of that one, it's just a different color. Same thing, just a white bunny. Oh my God. I don't know what I like better, the white bunny or the brown. I think I like the brown better just because the wood grain, the faux wood grain just looks more realistic, but I do absolutely love both of these. So, let me know what y'all think. All right, we're down to the wire here. Okay, so this is a new item. I have never seen this metal carrot wreath form before. I mean, come on, Dollar Tree. Are you freaking for real? Super duper impressed with this. So I only picked up one of these because I don't even know what I would do with this, but I more so grabbed it just to be able to show you guys because I know a lot of you guys love the tool wreaths and like love doing up the all the different wreath forms. Um, so maybe I'll do something with it. I don't really know, but let me know your ideas down in the comments for this wreath form. So I only picked up one of those. And then the next sign that I picked up, this is just a plain Easter egg. Now I picked this up because I actually just did a DIY with an Easter egg like this that actually has the wood grain, the faux wood grain. But this one is just completely like, it has a little bit of that grain that you can see, but for the most part, it's pretty plain. So that's why I picked up this one because there's so many different possibilities for this. Are y'all still looking for Easter DIY ideas or are you like over Easter and spring? Like, are you ready for something different? Let me know what y'all are thinking. Is that right? Are you telling them? Tell them, say, let us know. Say, let us know what you think. Tell them. Tell them. So beautiful okay and then the last two signs that I picked up and the last two items were this every bunny welcome now I feel like we saw this last year I don't know I feel like I saw this particular one last year because I remember these little um, Buffalo check bunnies but maybe I'm, maybe I'm tripping I don't know let me know y'all did they have this exact sign last year or did they change up the pattern in the back and the bunnies i know for a fact that they had the little hanging bunnies on a sign like this but i can't remember if it's the exact same sign or if they switched it up so let me know what y'all know <laughs> let me know what y'all know okay and the last sign is Again, I can't remember if they had this one last year. I don't remember seeing it at my store. However, this year I seen it and I did grab it because I thought that these little bunnies are so stinking cute. Look at their little pink tail with the, I mean, they just, Dollar Tree's just really doing a good job, you guys. I'm just so stinking impressed with them. Like, please Dollar Tree, keep it up because we appreciate you. Bless you, sweet boy. 
God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Boo. Peekaboo. Uh, mama loves you. I love being a mom. Oh my God. Anyway. Okay. So Dollar Tree's doing the damn thing. Dollar Tree, please keep, keep it coming. Okay. Keep it coming. Keep paying attention. And we greatly appreciate items like this. So y'all, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments which item was your favorite that I hauled today. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. If nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning. You are worthy. You are gorgeous. You literally can do anything. I'm telling you, you literally can do anything you set your mind to. Coming from somebody who is almost nine years sober and clean from heroin and who has just recently dropped 80 pounds. And I've just been working on so much mentally and physically and emotionally. And just, I'm always looking to better myself every single day that's the key every single day look to improve one percent of your life and you'd be amazed at what will happen so if you guys want any information on ketones how you can drop the weight as well i will be your personal mentor and coach how you can make money from monetizing your social medias then text me the word ketones or biz Again, I will leave it at the end of the video as well as in the description box and the pinned comment. Or if you guys want Chalk Couture info, how you can save 40% off everything on the site, text my number, the word chalk as well. So with that being said, again, thank you guys so much for your support. Nothing I do would be possible without you. And I want you to know how much I love and adore you. With that being said, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.